Welcome to Bass Man Fans Channel. Please forgive me as I do a little different intro than what I'm used to. But I'm out enjoying this beautiful, lovely day. And I need to enjoy some horse power. What's up everybody, this is Batsman Fan, and uh, this is a, a special episode for those of you who um, want to do, uh, you know, your, your graded books, your CGCs, your CBCS, and your PGX books, you want to display them on the walls. Uh, I had a few questions about how I did, uh, what I did in my videos, and I will go over the uh, different sizes of... Uh, rubber made upright rails that I used. Uh, Y'all saw in the intro um, some of the items that I used so just reference that uh, whenever we go through this. So uh, this first uh, set of frames right here um, I have those displayed. There's, this is like a 24 inch uh, rail. Um, okay so with this 20 four inch rail you're going to be able to get three books on there three graded books I haven't uh, tested the PGX and uh, CBCS on this rail but this is what I was able to get on there um, if you jump up to the I think this is 47 inch like 47 and a half you're going to be able to get five books on there obviously if you put the two together that's going to give you 10 books that you can do on your wall um, I've got a few rows here and the plan is to I might end up adding uh, just to enhance my Batman wall I might put one more it'd be right down in that area one more of these uh, 24 inch um, pieces of uh, pipe or rubber made upright. Um, let me remove these books real quick and I'll give y'all a close-up of what I did. Okay so I showed y'all my two inch brackets um, in that intro video. I, I bought all this stuff from Home Depot. I don't work for Home Depot and I don't work for Ikea for the stuff I talk about on Ikea but I bought everything from Home Depot. This is a two inch bracket. This is the bracket that I felt the best about with giving that lean so I wasn't scared about it uh, falling off. Uh, I also showed you what uh, the, the bolt and screw nut and bolt set that I used. I put the head going down um, so that uh, it's flush as flush as can be. Use a flat head right there. Uh, for this small 24 inch uh, bar just use two. Um, I, I think two will suffice. Okay, so to mount these, I use 75 pound uh, easy anchor uh, drywall anchors. Now on this, is 75 pounds a little bit of overkill? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, look how much money is sitting here on the wall. Do you want to take a chance on it cracking or you know falling and cracking? Not me. Um, on this uh, bigger, uh, the 47 inch that I run right here, I actually use three different anchor points, if you will. I'll use the outsides and then one right here in the middle. Uh, I think that helps uh, distribute the weight. Uh, I don't have any bend in here at all. Um, everything is held up really good thus far. So um, that is a look at the 24, the 47, 
and then let's take a look over at the 72 inch okay this is the 72 inch um, Rubbermaid upright bars uh, y'all seen the prices as well these were uh, these are $9.99 um, I can't remember how much the braces are but even on this one I only use the same setup of one here in the middle and one on each end and um, I measured them uh, from where I screwed it into the wall like right here I just measured and kept that same distance between each uh, screw and I measured appropriately if you will off uh, the ceiling and then just kept that same measurement to the best of my ability uh, going down so um, that's how I, I hung up uh, my books this uh, longer um, post, uh, upright bar or whatever you're gonna be able to hold eight books on that so in total on this whole wall like I've uh, discussed in previous videos I'm able to hold um, 80 books on this wall um, you, you really want to make sure I would say go with that two inch uh, bar uh, or elbow if, if you go with that that's gonna give you enough lean that you're not you know scared of the books falling over um, so I'm not saying you know it's perfect I mean the way to, that you know that you're not going to have any books fall over is to take this right here and put another one right up here into where you slide your books in and out but you would have to start okay I want this amazing spider-man uh, 16 I gotta slide him all the way down through if I wanted him like right here so you just gotta be mindful of that but it, it uh, it knocks out the possibility of your uh, books falling over if you were to go that route but you're also talking about this cost me ten dollars right here for one rail uh, so I would be jumping up to twenty not counting now I've, I've you know doubled my uh, elbows and I've also doubled the uh, screws so um, let's take a step back and I will talk about my uh, display cases so um, this is one of my uh, display cases um, and this is these are uh, Detoffs or Detoffs I don't know how you say it something like that um, these are Detoffs uh, cases you buy these at IKEA um, I put all that info right there at the beginning of this video and you can see what the prices are I also bought these uh, risers if you will the one thing I do not like I bought doors for these but look I mean look how off it is um, I do not like that uh, and I've tinkered with it one way or the other and it just doesn't seem to be a good way to raise that if anyone has an idea please let me know um, I also ran uh, the dioder uh, lights in there if I had to do this all over again I would not have ran my lights from the top I would have come in from the bottom and drilled a hole and then ran the lights from the bottom that way by the time you get to the top where you know most people's eye level is you're not having to hide as many wires if you will so that's um, pretty much all I used for that was the uh, Detoff or Detoff whatever um, and you're seeing a lot of reflection right here but it, some of that's just you know the I would say the camera playing tricks on you yeah you get some glare but I mean whenever you're looking straight on it I don't see any glare on here um, let me show y'all one more thing okay I also bought these at um, Ikea as well um, you find it over in the the photo frame section and I cannot remember what the name of these are I, I'm very sorry but uh, that's what I use to uh, hang up um, these original art um, pages uh, I, I haven't pushed them together to see if I could fit four on here give me just a second I'll see if I can do that okay so you are able to uh, do that you can put four on this little ledge right here um, let me also get my tape measure out and I'll uh, show you how big that ledge is I'll give you a side view of it though real quick I mean you've got some pretty decent room you know here so um, let me get my tape measure out real quick okay so this is a uh, 45 inches in length and I bought these frames these are really simple frames um, 
it doesn't take away anything from the art though I bought them at Hobby Lobby so anyways I think that about wraps it up if you watch the rest of this video I'll go back over like a sort of a beginning to the end on how my uh, comic book room was uh, created thank you all very much for watching um, I've got one more video coming up that I've got some pretty cool books uh, and then after that I think I'm gonna start refocusing some of my money towards uh, the old car that you've seen in the intro I uh, love you all. Thank you all to my subscribers. If this is the first time you've watched my channel, please hit that like button. Please comment, subscribe, um, and uh, you'll keep that good content coming.